These odd illusions I'm experiencing can mean one of only two things. Either I'm about to go into shock, or it's time to read a little viewer mail. Hey! I guess I'm still a few days away from total dementia. This week's letter comes to us off the internet. It's from our friends at MST3000 at AOL.com. They write, Dear John, I'm connected with Dustin Hoffman. Would you like me to try to get a hold of him for you? Well, thanks, MST3000 at AOL.com, but I've already hired a private detective to find Dustin Hoffman. And his name is Mike Hammer. Yeah, I'm afraid it's an all too familiar story. A dusty record played one too many times on a broken down jukebox. Now, I know you're dying to meet this Hoffman character, and pigs want to fly, and Bon Jovi wants to act, but it's just not in the cards, kid. Uh, yeah, I want you to take a look at this. I snapped this picture yesterday. Now, here is the rain man roaming around the La Brea tar pits eating a corn dog. Hey, that's just down the street from here. Yeah. That's right. Now, wait, 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 wait. Now, there's more. This, this was taken earlier this morning. Here's Dustin buying a hoagie in the cafe downstairs. You mean he was actually in the E building? Right, right. Now, here is the most incriminating shot of all. I snapped this photo just five minutes ago. Here is Dustin golf bowling with Steve Kometko in the hallway right outside this studio. He was here? Dustin Hoffman was right here and he didn't even bother to stop by? But why? Well, that's what I wanted to know. So I confronted him. You mind if I sit down? Okay. Mike Hammer, private detective. Check your local listings for time and channel. <laughs> okay, laughing boy. Let's get right to the point. Talk soup. Bad TV series. <laughs> I'll make a note. But a buddy of mine's life is on the line. Now, why won't you go on his show? When I look at it on the TV screen, I don't think like I'm seeing anything that's real. Well, of course it's not real. It's television. Come on. What's the real reason, Ratso? We just don't want to go there, as they say. We just don't. We're afraid. Afraid? What are you afraid of? Bad reviews. Bad reviews? Bad timing. Bad circumstance. Bad idea? That's correct. I'm sorry, Johnny. I didn't mean to let you down, but let's face it. Trying to lure a two-time Oscar winner onto a cheesy cable show is a bit like putting the Hope Diamond on a two-dollar hooker. It's just not gonna work, pal. Better luck next time.